Preface of the Sins of Hollywood. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Chuck Williamson. The Sins of Hollywood by Ed Roberts. The Reasons for the Sins of Hollywood. To the public. The sins of Hollywood are facts, not fiction. The stories in this volume are true stories. The people are real people. Most of those involved in the events reported herein are today occupying high places in motion pictures. Popular idols applauded, lauded and showered with gold by millions of men, women, and children. Especially the women and children. To the boys and girls of the land, these mock heroes and heroines have been pictured and painted, for box office purposes, as the living symbols of all the virtues. An avalanche of propaganda by screen and press has imbued them with every ennobling trait. Privately, they have lived and are still living lives of wild debauchery. In more than one case, licentiousness and incest have been the only rungs in the ladders on which they have climbed to fame and fortune unfaithful and cruelly indifferent to the worship of the youth of the land they have led or are leading such lives as may any day precipitate yet another nationwide scandal and again shatter the ideals the dreams the castles the faith of our boys and girls it is for these reasons that the sins of hollywood are given to the public, that a great medium of national expression may be purified, taken from the hands of those who have misused it, that the childish faith of our boys and girls may be again made sacred. Fully eighty percent of those engaged in motion pictures are high-grade citizens, self-respecting and respected. In foolish fear of injuring the industry, Hollywood has permitted less than 1% of its population to stain its name. The facts reported in these stories have long been an open book to the organized producers. No need to tell them. They knew. They knew of the horde of creatures of easy morals who hovered about the industry and set the standard of price, decided what good, clean women would have to pay, have to give, in order to succeed. They knew of the maklu, of the scum that constituted the camp followers of their great stars. They knew of the wantonness of their leading women. They knew about the yachting parties, the wild orgies at roadhouses and private homes. They knew about Vernon and its wildlife, Tijuana and its mad, drunken revels. They knew about the kept women and the kept men. They knew about the prominent people among them who were living in illicit relationship. There was a time at one studio when every star, male and female, was carrying on an open liaison. The producer could not help knowing it. Eight months before the crash that culminated in the Arbuckle Cataclysm, they knew the kind of parties Roscoe was giving, and some of them were glad to participate in them. They knew conditions, knew about the hop and the dope, 
but they took the stand that it was none of our business their business was piling up advanced deposits from theater owners and manipulating the motion picture stock market they frowned on all attempts to speak the truth any publication that attempted to reveal the real conditions to cleanse the festering sores was quickly pounced upon as an enemy of the industry a subsidized trade press helped in this work any attempt to bring about reform was called hurting the industry it was the lapses and laxities of the producer that precipitated the censorship agitation that led a nauseated nation determined to cleanse the Augean stables of the screen into the dangerous notion of censorship almost fatally imperiling two sacred principles of democracy freedom of speech and freedom of the press they have made box office capital of everything nothing has been too vile to exploit they created the male vamp nothing was sacred nothing was personal if it had publicity possibilities in the daniels case they exploited the courts and made them a laughing stock at this moment taylor's tragic death is being exploited in connection with his last production if the screen is to be cleaned up the sores must be cut open the pus and corruption removed this always hurts but it is the only known way the author hollywood april first nineteen twenty two end of preface